It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the AFC South. It's the Indianapolis Colts and the Jacksonville Jaguars. And it comes your way next. On the banks of the St. Johns River, there's a good look inside Everbank Stadium here in downtown Jacksonville. Today, it's an intra-division matchup in the AFC South as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gordon with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. Sanchez on to get us started. And off we go from Jacksonville. Now Jamal Agnew from his end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. So here's the first drive now for the Jags. They're led by the number one overall pick in the 2021 draft, Trevor Lawrence. And you want to talk about enormous expectations being placed on a quarterback. How about what Trevor Lawrence faced coming out of college? But the good thing for him, he's used to it. He had the same type of expectations leaving high school and going to Clemson. They always expect him to be a franchise savior, whatever team he joins. And to his credit, he shouldered those expectations and doing everything in his power to follow through. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Off the play fake, here's Lawrence. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And they're gonna get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. The first drive here, and the first time that we've called a big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't, because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. Run of the jet sweep with Ridley. And he's going to take this one up only to about the 44-yard line. DeForest Buckner in on the tackle. Defensively, they had that one pretty well figured out. Yeah, and one of the things about this play, it can be even more effective when you run a lot of motion and there's plenty of times you don't hand it off. Here's Lawrence to throw. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 43. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 43. Looking to throw, Lawrence. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. They are such a talented team at defending the perimeter and taking away throws to the outside. Great confidence, great skill. Now a second and ten. Back to the ground with ETN. Five yards, now it's third and five. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a way to completely break off a huge game. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Play action. It's Lawrence. And this pass 
broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. From a defensive perspective, they had exactly what you want anytime they want to throw the football. There's pressure on the quarterback. They were getting after him, and they tightened down on the receivers and forced the incompletion. A cook now on to punt as he gets this one away. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. They're led out by a guy whose play and signature mustache took Jacksonville by storm in 2019. The author of Minshew Mania, now he goes against the Jags. Gardner Minshew. And they'll run the option to start the drive. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Now Minshew. Finds his big tight end, Mo Alley Cox. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. That's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. We're scoreless after one. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Colts in possession as they've got it with a second down and two coming up. Again, it's Taylor. On oh, a determined run there as he's going to take this all the way down near the 40. It'll be a gain of 17 and an Indianapolis first down. Two carries for him now on the opening drive, both for good yardage. And based on film study, they thought that there was a chance to spring him more than once for some pretty good yardage in this game. So in Jacksonville territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. They give the Taylor out of the gun. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Good yardage there on first down, exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs, keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. Second and a couple. Up the middle, here's Taylor. And he stopped after a gain of one, not enough. Still a yard to go on third down. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Here's Minshew. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. <laughs> I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Throwing on first down is Minshew. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Chance so good. He's going to be a very busy guy. Two catches already in this opening drive, and they were looking his way for a third. I think they put this defense on notice that that could be a really, really frequent combination. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Minshew sets to throw. And his throw here is incomplete. They haven't been able to stop them so far. 
this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Again, Minshew looking to throw. Good slant caught by Pierce. And they'll get to him short of the first down at about the 16. signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. Try to punch it in with Taylor. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Remember, that was fourth and a full two yards. There's a big difference between that and fourth and maybe six inches or a yard. Yeah, you're exactly right, because when it's that six inches, you just fall forward and you pick it up, right? You just go quarterback sneak. But having to move bodies, that means you actually have to execute because they know what you're going to do. How are you going to make the right play call and get everyone into the right spot and win at the line of scrimmage? That's what they did there. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Here we go now on first and goal. Taylor diving for the end zone, and he is in. Touchdown. So both sides of the football contributing here early. Their defense forces the punt, and then the offense takes it down the field and punches it in on the short touchdown run. And, Brandon, that's good complimentary football, and that's what they're going to need if they want to get out of here victorious. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And this is good to make it 7 0 Indy. So that drive spans 13 plays. And it was capped off by a Jonathan Taylor touchdown. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. This fielded right at the goal line. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The Jags going to go on offense now late in this first half. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure, if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk this is a big decision here. Now Lawrence is going to get his guys to go quickly. From the 29, Lawrence. A short throw to Ingram, and he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Now a second and two. Here's Lawrence. A short throw. The ball comes out, but this will get out. 
out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Well, this hasn't been their cleanest first half of football. Last thing they wanted to do was give it up to the opposition, but able to keep it as it goes out of bounds. Yeah, tough first half, no doubt about it, but if they turn it over there, now things turn a little, how would you say it, dire? Mm. And they didn't need that hassle at all. So being able to take care of the football is paramount. Fortunate bounce for them there in order to retain it. Well, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Second down and a little more than a yard here. They go play action now. Lawrence. Man open here is Jones. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow. And he didn't on that play. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by McManus is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. Now Maybe a more victory of sorts. They're on the board here late in the first half, but this offense just hasn't looked that sharp. Yeah, but at least they got the three points, right? At least have something to quote-unquote hang their hats on and maybe feel a little bit better about themselves as they head to the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we come to halftime here with the visiting Colts taking the lead to the locker room. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach and our EA Sports halftime report. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports halftime report. We saw former rushing champ Jonathan Taylor be a big time factor in that first half. He had a touchdown run that helped get his guys this halftime lead. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. Second half, ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Second drive coming up here for the Indianapolis Colts. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. Looking to throw it, Minshew. He's got his man, it's Pierce. And he's gonna be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. A seven yard pickup brings up second and three at the 32 yard line. They'll operate from the 32 yard line here, second and three. They'll run the toss here with Taylor. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time. Forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Now a third and six. Now back to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. So many times we look at the opening drive in the third quarter as a 
tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Agnew now to return. It'll wind up being a net of 41. Nine-yard return, 50 on the punt. And the Jaguars go on offense, first down and 10. And they'll start on the ground, ETN. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Another tote for ETN. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and cut back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Third and eight. On play action, Lawrence. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gets him a first down. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Throwing quickly. This is caught by Kirk. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Lawrence's throw here taken in by Ingram. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Another nice gain, 16 yards there and a first down again. Now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot down. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Throwing on second and long. Lawrence is complete to Jones. And they'll get him to the ground, and he has another first down at the Colts 16. Three quarters in the books. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's Jaguar football, but a little work to do for them. They trail here as we start the fourth. On first and ten, it's ETN. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense is pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game, and all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. They'll try the jet sweep of Kirk. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. Call it no gain there, and it brings forth a third and long. Going to need a crafty play call here. 14 yards is what they need to try to convert this thing. They're going to try the jet sweep on third and long. Oh, and this one it may need to go back to the drawing board. He's going to be swallowed up right away. Fourth down now after a loss of two. 
Now they try to catch him by surprise there on third down, but this defense, they were all over the jet sweep. And it's oftentimes all about what you're doing on the backside of the defense, whether it's the defensive end or the outside backer, who's setting the edge. And if they don't get blown off the line of scrimmage, they can really wreck a play. And in this case, they were able to make the tackle for a loss as a result. The kick by McManus is good. And they'll get it back within a point at seven to six. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. The Colts offensive unit ready to see what they can do here. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. They'll start with the option. Now Minshew has a knocked out fumble. Oh, one of the linebackers has got it. And they're going to set up shop at the 27 yard line. Hey, partner, here's where team football gets tested a little bit because I know the defensive guys were up there chilling on the sidelines, and all of a sudden, they heard the sudden change call because that fumble puts them right back on the field. And they've got to go out and finish the game now themselves. Absolutely. Nursing that slim lead here in the fourth. A costly turnover. So here now, Lawrence and the Jaguars. Down 7-6. 2.23 to play. The late fumble gives him unexpected new life as they come up first down. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. Here's second down and three. Here's Lawrence. And completes it to Kirk over the middle. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Running out of the gun with ETN. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They'll come to the line. This is third and three. They'll run with ETN. Well, this is only going to be a gain of two. He needed three. It's fourth and one. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This for the lead in the final stages. The kick by McManus is good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Big kick right there to give them the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, 
That's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they score too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And not willing to risk another fumble. He'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Now it's the Colts' turn. Trailing by two after the made field goal. A little over 80 ticks to go. And they need about 35 yards to get in range for a winner as they come up on first down. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big game. They'll come up now on second down. Minshew. Pass complete to Taylor. And Taylor going to pick up the Colts first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. And Minshew going to get him to the line quickly. Here's Minshew. Sideline there, but it's incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dive, and because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dive? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Now Minshew. That's complete to Pierce. And this is not going to be what they needed. They get a few here, but now third down as the clock runs. It drives some people crazy to see their short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. And a fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort, that was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL right here on 